Hi, uh, this is Omega Lark with the Autobox review of the gut of the Mobile Suit uh, 8 after Colony Magnax. This is the grunt suit of the enemy of Oz. Uh, this is like the main suit that works with Castro in the Santa Rock Gundam. Uh, he, uh, this guy's part of the wing, the wing collection. Uh, the wing collection. I'm glad they came out with this guy because this guy looks freaking amazing. Wait, good art like I'll show you. Good articulation right up to the limit and like you wanna know what right, right here? That's part of the shield. Like the, the way you attach on the shield and all that and with the leg articulation you can see and all that crud. That looks amazing. With the head. It doesn't do that much because the head's like bulkiness. But you can like the look up together and like it looks good it looks good and same with the arms like the, even the shoulders articulation on their arm because they're on a ball joint oh they're on the ball joint right here like you can see right here is connected to a ball joint and so is the ankles and no not the ankle yeah the ankles on the ball joint so is the the feet now I'm going to show you what comes with it these are the fans that come with it. Only like three fans. Right here we got your stand. We got your I think your beat uh beam rifle or something. Uh, looks like a machine gun, like a massive uh, AK-47 rifle or something. Then we got the the bulkiness shield. The bulkiness shield. Uh, with this is the part you can attach their T uh, test right here, uh, test beam for the shield. Uh, you can test it right here, like, can say right here, and, or, or you can do on the bottom. I do this. I think I don't know. I think I got it down, Mom. Um, okay. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, this. This fence like a piece of work. Go over here. On the arms. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, this is arms. That's a lot of piece of work. Then finally, we got the axe. Would have been better if they had like a sticker to make it a heat axe, a heat ox. But uh, this is what the Bandai intended. I'll put it right, like it attaches to the arms like this. Uh, I gotta get this off. Put it on. Put it on, and then and there you go. There you go, like, literally, it's, uh, it's like, sorry with the big hands, but, it's little, uh, the hands are on bone joint too. Do you see? See how, it, how, it, how it's done? Like the heat hawk, like I should, should they, they should have just, I'm planning to paint this, I'm hitting to paint this part right here, to make an actual heat hawk. Then, uh, Back here we got the peg. We can uh, attach the attach the uh, attach the oh my god attach the freaking axe. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Maybe it's just the heat. Like I'm from I'm from Canada and it's like hot weather. Damn, I should be living in like British Columbia. British Columbia and. Just Enjoy the freaking cold because I'm like a cold person and all that shit. There you go. And then got the gun. Like, I think it's like a machine gun or like that. Or like right now, you can just uh, like here's how I did it. Like, I did it like with the box. That's how I did it, like uh, with that titillation. 
and wait a horn. That's not how I did it. This is how I did it. And it does come with the the stickers. There's a sticker in the head. Like there's a, I picked them with like no, it's only one sticker. Like two stickers. Sticker in the head. Uh, and then the sticker in the camera of the gun. Like you guys can see it, barely see it. And there's like a uh, there's like like another like the PL stickers like the some they come sometimes they come with the master uh, master grade Gundams and they gonna how how you guys like this pose? Because they come with uh from one to, to one to nine and I just chose forty. Because 40 is my lucky number, and I just put like 40 here on the shield, and 40 on the uh, the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's a good Gundam. Not a Gundam. Good runs to it. Like, they should make, uh, uh, I know they made more of these. Like, uh, I'm planning to get the P. Bandai version, but this is like the standard version. And, like, literally, it's a good Gundam. And I'm going to end this right now. And like, if they came, I'm planning like to mo uh, before I go, just letting you guys know I'm planning like to make the app. I'm told that I told you guys in the video I'm gonna make the app like a hee hawk. And then I'm going to like to paint. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Paint. Not paint the gun. I'm gonna paint something. Oh, I'm going to paint it inside the flesh, just like the uh. Like a like a darkest gray or like the uh, orange like the with the boosters and all that shit. Oh, and right here, you wanna know what's right here? Like I totally forgot. It's for the shield to mount on the back. If you wanna do like uh, wanna do like a uh, axe, axe gun style assault and all that shit, or then hold like any kind of weapon and all that. You can do that. Or I think it can. Do like a different kind of backpack. Assembly. Oh no, I don't know. Maybe I should do that in my next review. Okay. Thanks for thanks. I hope you guys like it. Leave me a like and a comment. Leave me a like and a, and a comment. And I uh, I got this from Canadian Gundam. To be honest, and I'm going to leave a link in the description. And I hope you guys uh, visit them. Anyone in in Canada or the United States, visit them, because they have really good. Uh, guns in stock and like they get their shipment away from Bandai South Africa, like, South in Japan. And I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna end this right now. Ho hope you guys like my video and leave a like in the comment. Okay, bye.